all right guys so uh, they just came and took the low profile box spring off and replaced it with the um, standard which is what I wanted from the beginning because I like to climb in my bed and depending on the height that I get once I put the um, mattress on here and I'm also give you guys a tip so as you can see these two mattresses are about the size of twin bed mattresses right or these box springs I keep saying mattresses when I mean box springs so what I'm doing right now is the boys had two extra mattresses so I'm using their mattresses on top of here and it works perfectly the only thing is you're gonna have some uh, space in here so as you can see you can have you got some room like right here so with the um, mattresses I'll show you where that comes to meet this end of the box spring when we get to that point which will be in two three one no. alright guys so now you see you can really tell down here I wish I would have took before and after but before when I had the low profile on here um, it was down like you could still see in this area right here so now it meets with the um, the headboard which is I don't want any gaps in there which is going to help the pillow sit a lot better on your bed so we're going to go ahead and take off these sheets and, and as you can see those twin mattresses I just have to take this one over just a little bit more right here see where that is hanging out so I just have to move that over so I don't have as much room as I had at the um let's see if I can get you back focus okay all right all I have to do is just move this over like so okay and as I was saying I don't have a lot of room uh, like I had in the high rise so having to adjust some things to make it work okay. and I did opt to get the um, mattress protectors so it's waterproof breathable hypoallergenic and it is, of course, in the king size. I do have a three-year warranty with this as well. This was purchased from Mattress King. what it looks like here and it goes on just like um, your sheets
So now having this mattress protector on here is also helping to keep those twin mattresses together for me too. So as you can see, it's a perfect fit. Perfect fit. Alright, next for the sheets. These sheets are from um, Big Lots and it's from the Broil Heel Collection. And I got this in, um, thought maybe it would have the color on here, but it does not. Um, but you get one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and two pillowcase. And it's a 300 thread count. This is the fitted, or the, this is the um, loose. This is the fitted. And then the two pillowcase. And it's standard, just your normal stitching on that. Alright guys, so this is, get you some more light. So this is the room with everything all made up. Uh, there is Queen Macy. <laughs> uh, she has taken her spot in the room. And uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of feeling this. I went this way with the bigger uh, pieces of art because the room is on the smaller side so I didn't want to use small pieces in my opinion would have made it look even smaller so I think uh, with the on this scale and pardon me okay hold on y'all cuz everything wasn't done there you go. All right, there you go. Now everything is complete. I know I kept looking at it. I'm like, wait a minute, some ain't right, some ain't right. So anyway, back to the wall art. So I wanted to use this in here instead. Um, I just think it makes a, a bigger statement. All right, guys, so here we are with the final look of the, the single girl's room bed makeup video all right so i showed you guys in the last clip how i place my pillows when it's time for me to go to bed and i want to talk about um the size of the room and why i chose the uh decor that i chose so i feel like since the room is on the smaller side that it would just look better with larger pieces on the wall just to give it that grand look um, and you wouldn't focus so much on how small the room is 
on this side of the wall um, you'll see it's kind of awkward because the TV is on the side of the bed that's how small the room is the walls of the room I should say if I turn the bed long ways this way to meet the TV then I cut off my walking space um, a lot which <laughs> tell you the truth it ain't it ain't that much more going this way but anyway for now I'm gonna leave it this way I did have it going this way before the bed came and I just kind of was not feeling it that way but I may change it back because I don't want to put any more holes in the wall as you can see on this side this is the size of the wall and that is really not going to give me enough space to fit that television on that wall if you understand what I'm saying so for right now I'm going to leave things the way it is this uh, you guys know this spot is not where I'm trying to stay uh, for, for a long period of time Lord's will. So this is how I have everything over here on this side of the wall which fits this nook real good. There's plenty of space. It's neat and it's out of the way. Right? There are other ways that I could set this up but for me I think this is the best way that I could do it. Um, I don't want to I don't want to take that down that wall art you know just to accommodate a television like I'm cool with just laying in the bed it's a king size bed so I I can lay this way which most of the time I do and I just lay on my on my decorative pillows and watch the TV that way also I can lay that way and still have a nice view of the TV so mainly I only need the TV on so I can go to sleep that's that's all what it come down to I don't really watch TV in here like that I'm downstairs or I'm in the uh, office so this setup is it's alright with me so you guys let me know what you think about this video and tell me if you guys set your pillows up on the empty side of the bed on this side of the bed so y'all let me know that in the comment section down below I will see you guys in the, another video stay safe stay prayed up stay focused on God yep girl ain't nothing changed okay stay focused on, on God stay loving on yourself stay fancy and stay with us. I love you fancy beauties and bowls. Until next time. Two days late. Hey fancy beauties and bowls. Welcome back to the channel. So today I am showing you how I am maximizing the space in my small bedroom. So you guys, I showed you a clip previous to this. Of how I said I was going to leave it. But of course I changed my mind. As we women often do. So of course the um, carpet stayed the same. Yes we jumping right into it. If y'all didn't recognize. But yes uh, carpet stayed the same. The seating here stayed the same. Um, I, the major changes are the television here. That I went ahead and hung up. And I did that, of course, you guys know, by myself. And then I left the bottom piece of the cubic, nine cubic bookcase. I left that bottom part the way that it was. And then I just decorated it with uh, whatever home decor that I had. Um, I'm going to probably redo this, most definitely redo this because um, I have to hide those cords. You guys know 
that's gonna irritate me to no end if I don't do it. And then. And then coming on the other side here, um, I put the seat window bench that I had at the footboard of the bed. I put that over here and just made that my little sitting area. Um, let me see if I can adjust this so it's not so bright. There we go. Okay, so now that'll give you a truer sense of what we look like. Um, I left the planter in place here. Um, I don't know if I had that moved or not the other way, but also I have the the little blankets and things like that in that unit here and again don't mind the cord all this is going to be fixed because at and is coming back out and they're going to relocate everything for me um just in case you're in interested that service is fifty dollars if you end up having to change your uh direction of your television setup so I just have a throw right here when I'm sitting here and I actually do sit here in this area. It's really comfy and cozy when I sit there and then I have um, just a little uh, flower arrangement right over there and this camera is having a hard time focusing. Okay, there we go. So let me bring you in a little bit. So that's just the little flower arrangement there. This unit right here, that is a diffuser. So as soon as I find the plug, I'll diffuse in here as well. I have my uh, little picture there. I'm going to fill that area in right here and on the bottom. Um, so for right now, I'm just going to leave it like this. I kind of like the little hat situation, so I might leave that the way that it is. And then I just have my jewelry in this one. The remote controls will go in this box. And then I have just a little decorative hand right here. And I have some pearls hanging from it. My candle, which is the black onyx from Home Goods, that is my zhuzh right there. I love burning that candle. And then um, Alexa is right there. I just woke her up. And my water bottle. Hell. Right there. With a free Amazon Music Unlimited trial on this Echo Dot. It's free for 30 days and then $3.99 a month until you cancel. Terms in the Alexa app. All right, I guess she finished now. Uh, and then we have uh, just this little spiky um design here and where is my bible it is supposed to be sitting right there right there where is my bible i'll have to find it i have to have that in, in my room in my next to my bed so i can read it uh this is the bed situation so this bed comes from Backhawk. Now, I want to show you the details on this bed, sis. So, just so if you deciding that you want to get this bed, you will know what to expect. So, as you can see, there is a lot of space in between the um, headboard and the wall and that's because this piece right here is made over into um, an arch but it's really beautiful and then of course it's tufted 
And then the material on here, let me go out. Of course, you got the studded nail heads. This is uh, wood right here. And then the tufted part is, it's not the, it's not velvet. It's not any of that. Um, it's almost like, um, how you may find a tufted furniture piece. Um, but I don't want to really say it like that because it's really sturdy this uh, material that they have on here and I actually love this bed it's super comfortable you guys know I went with the um, higher size box matches box spring so that I'd be able to climb up into the bed and I went in detail about that so just look back at that clip if you have any questions about it and I just draped my little comforter on the bed just to give it some layering just to give it the layering effect and this where I had the TV sitting on which is actually my server and it's supposed to go in the living room <laughs> but this is holding my uh, my garments so I have my, my clothes on the inside of here um, my shirts are in here and then I have my socks this one is housing my underwear on that side I'm not sure what's on this side okay my my sweatshirts and things like that are in here all right so these are the bottles of perfume that I have selected to be up here and it's just, you know, Misty Ore. Then we have some Versace. Burberry. Burberry. Prada. Juicy Couture. Has also been chosen. And then in the back, I just have um, my little star. Just a little star. That's it. Here I put uh, just a decor box in this tray. My uh, plant arrangement. And then that just says cocktails, anyone. So, and then over here we have more perfume. This is Daisy. This is Gucci. Bomb. Flower Bomb. This is... Um, oh, I always forget what this one is. But you guys know. You guys know which one that one is. And BB. This is the perfume that my daughter gave me. That's BB. And I love this. I always get tons and tons of compliments when I wear that fragrance. And then we have uh, light blue, which smells amazing. And all right, guys, and that's it. So that is what we are looking like in the mess in the owner suite. This is what we look like in the owner suite, guys. So. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll give you one more pan around. So this way gave me lots more space. It looks a lot better. There we go. There we go. a lot better we got plenty walking space to go from this door which is the exit door all the way through here the bathroom just cuts right over in that area here this is the walk-in closet 
and I'll give you guys a peek in here. Um, we got a little bit organized organization that we need to do in here. So, all right. So there's plenty walking space in that area that fell off the <laughs> off the um, bookcase. I put that back, but we got plenty walking space there. This side is my challenge side as far as space is concerned, but I'm little, so I can actually make it through here just fine. Um, this, I would just hold that down to walk through um, because you guys know I made my bed up with the pleats. The pleats right there. And now you can see the bed from this side as well. Alright, so this is what the bathroom looks like, guys. And uh haven't really done too much in here. This is probably all I'm going to do in here. Because, like I said, I don't want to buy anything. I love the fact that this uh, bathroom has a window. I do enjoy that. And then, this is everything else. The decor. Uh, what little there is. And this is my little... Um, this is my little... Um, what do you call this waterfall and I do turn it on and I go through that much trouble to, just to turn it on but so you guys can see what it do it's just super calming that's the only reason I got it And make me feel like I'm in the spa somewhere. <laughs> so this is the room, guys. Stay um, connected to me. Because I'm going to bring up some more um, videos for you guys to watch. I'll turn, I'll turn you this way so you can at least see my face. So, yeah, just stay tuned for um, more videos to come. This place, I have to say, is the most challenging place that I've lived to decorate. So, I had to really go in there <laughs> in the creative box and figure out what to do um, because I, I like it to look a certain way you guys know that and with the pieces that I have I said this is what we're using I'm not buying anything because when I move into my forever home come on father come on father um I don't want to take a lot of stuff I don't want to take a lot of old stuff so um whatever I don't want I'm either gonna sell it or give it to my daughter um that way when I move in I can just have a fresh eye I can have um a, you know fresh ideas and just start a new chapter so that's where I'm at right now. So if you guys, you know, when I show you these videos, I'm making the videos for us that are in a financial pinch. Uh, I'm never going to lie to you. Right now, I'm in a financial pinch. And I'm recovering from the side effects from COVID on the financial side of things. So, um... And I'll talk about that in another video about, you know, what I'm doing to, to come out of that and to get back where I was at. So I'll make a separate video for that for you guys. But what I was going to say is 
if you see something that's like weird, like the way that I have the buffet against the bed, I'm just maximizing my space. I'm using what I have in my arsenal of tools of decor. And it may look weird to some people. It you know may want to put ghetto on that. You know, whatever you want to do, but as long as I'm satisfied and I'm happy with where I'm where which way what I'm doing, why I'm doing what I'm doing, because at the end of the day, I have to answer to the father. And he told me, don't buy nothing. I'm not gonna buy anything. You guys will see what I'm talking about when I take you down to the to the um living room and to the dining room and to the kitchen. Oh, especially the kitchen, child. Anyway, y'all stay tuned for those videos. Go ahead and click that notification bell as well as clicking that subscribe button. That way you guys have a have at least a 50% chance of getting my video if you click that notification bell. And you know, I'll see you on some vlogs or you know, whatever, you know, hits me. I'll, I'll put that stuff up. Um, I'm going to try and just dive into a, a lot of different areas. Well, not a lot, but some of the areas that I love. Uh, makeup, uh, home decor, vlogging, things like that. So, come on with the ride if you want to. If you don't want to, I understand my channel is not for everyone. I'm not that... Uh, cursy girl. I'm not that, um, I'm not that off the wall. I can be, you know, when I'm around my family, but I haven't found that place where I could do it on, on camera. It's she coming out though. She's slowly coming out. But anyway, y'all stay focused on God. Stay prayed up. Stay doing you no matter what anyone else says because your path is different from everyone else's path. You have to follow and do what God tells you to do. Don't let anybody sway you, not even yourself. You stay on what he tells you to do, do it without grumbling, do it without complaining, just do it and he will bless you for doing it. He loves doers and he rewards doers. Until next time, you guys stay fancy and stay with me. <laughs> Love you guys. I'll see you soon.